a single King Tiger tank stands alone. Ahead of it are hundreds of M4A4 Shermans poised to assault the tank. Will it survive the onslaught or be slaughtered? What's going on gamers? It's your boy Daily Tactics here and today we're back with another Call to Arms Gates of Heck video and today we're going to be doing a King Tiger versus 100 M4A4 Shermans and in this video we're also going to be doing uh, if this fails more King Tigers as well as switching up uh, this battle arrangement too uh, if this fails. Basically I don't have faith that this one King Tiger will win so we have contingency plans to try and get the Germans to win here but that doesn't change the fact that the Germans will always be outnumbered by 100 M4A4 Shermans. It's going to be absolutely insane. So if you guys enjoy these videos, please be sure to smash that like button. Let's try and get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. Subscribe if you have not already. We're so close to 400K subs. And comment on down below if you'd like to see some more crazy Men of War Assault Squad 2 uh, slash Call to Arms videos like this in the future. Regardless, let's get it going, boys. All right, and then let's go ahead and press start right here. This could be a little bit laggy. Eh, it's not too bad, actually. The King Tiger fires out once and uh, strikes, actually, an M4A4 right here. Um, it, it took the piercing right there, but it doesn't seem to be dead. M4A4s begin to fire at the King Tiger. Uh, it is, for the most part, glancing blows right here. Nothing really destroying it. It looks like its uh, track is actually broken, though. It takes another shot right there and cripples one of the M4A4 Shermans. Beautifully done there, King Tiger. The King Tiger Rooney. Now tons more M4A4 Sherman fire uh, is coming in and striking the front of this King Tiger. Uh, it, it appears to actually still be alive somehow. <laughs> through, through the grace of the Third Reich, it is still alive. It takes another shot at the same M4A4 that it already crippled. Dude, you've got a hundred tanks to go after, and you choose to shoot the same one again. What on earth are you doing? Alright, where's it gonna land this next shot? Alright, it's trying to chase some of these flanking Shermans. It bails on that, and then goes for that one, and completely misses, hitting a building back there instead. Dude, this, this King Tiger is about to go 0 for 100. Well, no, it's going to go 1 for 100 because uh, it did kill uh, one of those. Sorry, 1 for 99, I should be saying. Uh, now the Shermans are flanking, which is probably the only way they're actually going to be able to kill this King Tiger is by getting a nice little engine shot here. So let's see. It does get a nice shot. Yeah, this thing's getting destroyed. This thing's getting absolutely, absolutely shrecked at this point in time. Um, yep, the crew is bailing out. And it's only a matter of time. Yep, before they too are slaughtered. Okay, so this thing got one kill. One tank kill, and it didn't even kill it. They're repairing that one tank. Oh, sorry, it hit two tanks, and this one is also getting repaired. King Tiger completely failed. Let's try this again with a few more King Tigers. All right, this time we're going to be trying out three King Tiger tanks to see how they end up doing. I also turned the uh, render distance down to see if that helps us out uh, in stopping some of this lag. So three shots go out consecutively. It looks like they did hit one of these M4A4 Shermans, uh, but have yet to kill it. The M4A4 Shermans now start firing out at the King Tigers. Uh, mainly striking the middle one here, still not major damage done to it or anything along those lines, so they still appear to be all good, although now more shots are being fired at it and uh, damaging it more so here. More uh, King Tiger fire also going out against these M4A4 Shermans, looks like a few more have been struck by the King Tigers here. Oh, it's so laggy. Well, it's not actually too laggy. It's just very stuttery. And actually, the middle King Tiger's uh, main gun has been damaged here, which means that it can no longer fire. Let's try to get repairs down on this thing. Uh, see if we can get this thing back up and running. Might not happen, but we do have some sandbags here to provide some, some cover for that crew member uh, who's trying to repair this thing. But as it stands right now, it looks like actually, yeah, more Shermans are going down uh, that are trying to take out these King Tigers. So that's very good to see uh, that, th that there is some more damage actually being done here. I'm actually going to go ahead and try to lower the graphic settings. Just a second, boys. All right, gamers, I did pause. Let's see. I lowered the graphic settings. Maybe that'll stop that uh, pesky stuttering right there that we've got going. Uh, it might not. This might just be too much to handle for my poor computer. 100 Shermans 
is quite a bit. Although, I do have to say, maybe I should have done this video in Men of War Assault Squad 2, uh, where things can be handled a little bit better. Let's actually bump it down a speed here, that might help as well. Um, in Men of War Assault Squad 2, uh, for some reason it handles more units a little bit better. I think that's just because Gates of Hell does a lot more shading and things like that. Either way, here come the Shermans around the flank, uh, trying to secure a victory against the uh, King Tigers here. It looks like uh, all of the King Tigers are technically still alive, and even this one actually had its main gun repaired. Uh, but right now, this one in the middle only has one crew member inside of it. Uh, the other two, uh, this one has three, and this one has four still. Uh, but they're not really firing too much. Engine broken on this one right over here. Uh, looks like this one has two tank kills, this one has two tank kills, and this one has three infantry kills. So still really not doing too hot here. Not doing too hot at all against all of these Sherman tanks. Really, they're not getting a lot of kills, but at the very least, they're, like, absorbing a lot of damage. They're staying alive for a long time, if you want to call that, like, a partial-ish victory. See, now uh, they're getting more main gun damage. This one's main gun is crippled. Yikes, this one's main gun is crippled, too. This one's the only one without the main gun crippled, and it was the one that had the main gun crippled in the first place. Ah, oh, yikes. Yeah, this is uh, no bueno at all. <laughs> They're just getting pummeled by Sherman fire here. This is so not working. And it's so stuttery. Oh, lordy. Oh, this is a yikes. This is a yikes from me, dog. All right, why don't we go into fast motion here and let these things just die. Take them out of their misery, M4A4 Shermans. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Main gun damage on that bad boy. Crew bailed out on the one on the far left. Are these things dead yet? <laughs> they can absorb so much damage. These two are still alive, technically. They're just, like, horribly crippled. There we go. Crew bailed out of that one. Uh, and this one in the middle, still, still alive. The crew is still hanging in there in the one in the middle. Okay, not anymore. Yeah, I think that just about does it right there for the one in the middle. I think they are uh, successfully dead. Okay, let's try and buff up the Germans one more time here. Try and get them a victory. Okay, this is no longer really that one King Tiger versus 100 M4A4 Germans, but that's okay. We're just making the battle a little bit more interesting. Uh, basically, I sprinkled Penza Shrek as well as Penza Faust troopers uh, across the map. There's about 15 of them hiding in various spots along this village. There still are three King Tigers, uh, and then I've knocked it down to, uh, I think there's about 50-ish Shermans here. I didn't count exactly, but I deleted about half of the Shermans. Uh, to try and make it a little bit more even. We can also go ahead, I think now, and turn up the view distance once again and get that nice cinematic experience because uh, we did take away a lot of those things. Hopefully, uh, this ends up improving our lag situation a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Battle is starting King Tigers. Ooh, they're on fire this time with their shots. Getting two nice little hits right there. I uh, actually didn't really seem to... Oh, maybe that thing's slowing down, or it's just turning. No, it's slowing down. Maybe maybe that'll cripple that? I, I have no idea. It's tough tough to tell. These these King Tigers are not great at aiming. I I have to say, they have they have not impressed me. We do have our uh, Panzerschreck uh, troopers down here, basically hiding behind cover right now from the incoming shots from the M4A4 Sherman. Let's go into normal speed right here. All right, here we go. More fire going out, and yes, they are connecting with some Shermans now actually taking them down. Beautifully done. These aren't even 76 Shermans, man. This should this should be easy clap territory, I'm hoping. All right, here we go. Penzafaust is firing out and taking out that Sherman. Did waste a lot of ammunition on those, though. Penzafaust, of course, do not have, uh, you know, infinite shots or anything along those lines, so they gotta be a little bit careful about that. You know, that support is going to be waning as the battle goes on, so you might as well not use all of your shots on one Sherman. Four Shermans beginning their flanking, but there are Panzerfaust troopers ready for that right now. The King Tigers, once again, taking a bit of a beating. It looks like the main gun of the middle one, yet again, damaged, and the crews are a bit concussed on the other two right now. All right, here we go. The big flank is happening over here. Let's see. Nice shot right there. Oh, that thing's down. Love to see it. 
More Shermans, though, coming that way. They're going to have to watch the flanks while the King Tigers take the beating from the front here. They have taken out a number of Shermans over this way at this point now, though. You'd love to see that. More Panzerfaust taking out Shermans, trying to flank over here. Uh-oh, but they are reloading, and that is going to give these guys a chance to kill a few of these Panzerfaust troopers. That's no good at all. Oh, Panzer Shrek, come on, fire. Oh, they're firing front. No, fire to the side, fire to the side. Yikes, now they're reloading. This is no good. Take cover, fire. Take cover, then fire. There we go. Terrible shot. No. Oh, there we are, though. Does manage to connect in the rear. It's not dead yet, though. Okay, the King Tigers are just absolutely getting devastated here. All three of them. No, not all three of them are still alive. Only two are alive, and this one's main gun damage. Get that crew member back into this one, and then get some repairs on that main gun, or at least try to. Nope, he instantly got shot the second he got out of that tank. All right, more Shermans coming around. <laughs> but they are... They are, um, seriously, uh, seriously not taking too much damage from these Panzer Shrek troopers or Panzer Faust troopers. Oy vey. It is not working out for the Germans here. Yep, all of these Panzer Faust and Panzer Shrek troopers are getting killed and the King Tigers are beginning, uh, to lose sight of this battle here. This one's really the only one that's still operating to any helpful capacity. And it's just getting shot in the side, shot in the back. It's only a matter of time. Man, this little experiment did not work out the way I wanted it to. I really thought we were going to get some, like, awesome Fury-style defensive battles here. But no, the Germans just get absolutely destroyed every single time. Wowza. Well, you got to hand it to the Americans. They really pulled through this time around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. Please be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, comment down below any other crazy battle ideas you guys have that are similar to this one. It seems like in this last battle, we did end up seeing maybe 20 or so uh, Shermans going down, which is decent. Uh, certainly better than the other battles, but uh, still not exactly what we were looking for here. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.